Okay, so we've uh, just finished tapping the spark plug hole. So we use the seat cutter first, cut the seat, then the reamer to ream the hole out for the tap and to cut the seat for the insert, and then the tap to actually tap the threaded hole for the insert. So the Triton has a 14 millimeter spark plug, and so TimeCert makes a couple of different inserts for them. The insert that comes with the 5553 kit is this insert right here. It is, uh, I don't know if you can read the part number on it, but it's part number 51459. And it says Ford Triton taper seat, you know, quantity 5 in the package. Now, the problem with this from my uh, point of view is, I don't know if you can see this, but it's fully threaded on the outside, like you'd expect. It's going to go into the uh, threaded hole we just cut into the head. And then on the inside, you can see that it's only threaded part way. Because now this matches the factory original, only, uh, you know, four or five threads. Now this, is, of course, is a steel insert, so it shouldn't pull out like the aluminum threads. But you only get, you know, four or five threads in there. And the idea is that it matches what the factory had in their OEM. And if you use the uh, Motocraft plugs that only have the threads part way, they... Uh, you know they won't they won't go into one that's fully an insert that's fully threaded. So you have to have an insert that's cut out part way and threaded part way if you use the OEM plugs. Now I went online to look for plugs and there's 20 different plugs for this Triton engine, and of them only one, the Motocraft I believe it is, had the shoulder on it that needed this um, open space. All of the rest of the plugs are fully threaded the entire shaft. I'll show you one uh, right here. So here's a plug. And this is actually an Autolite, Autolite uh, XP, XP103, and you can see it's fully threaded. So it doesn't need the shoulder. The Motocrafts only have about five or six threads down here, and then they have a shoulder here, so they need the insert that has the space in it, has the open space. But, you know, I'm not going to tie myself to those plugs, and so I, you know, I, w I don't, just don't see the value in having only half of the insert threaded on the inside. So I'm going with the full threaded inserts. So these you can see they're fully threaded on the outside. They go into the newly tapped hole. And now you can see they're threaded all the way on the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. And those are part number. Let's see if we got a you can see them here. It is part number five one four five seven. It's a time cert part number. It's M fourteen by one point two five by 16.8 long and so that so these are considered a, a fully threaded insert fully threaded on the inside instead of half threaded and this is what I'm gonna put in so I bought 10 of these a package of 10 to do all 10 of the cylinders and I'm not even gonna use the five that came with it for the uh, half threads some keep in mind though if you have the 5553 kit and you're gonna use these full threaded inserts the next step is going to be to set these inserts and use this little setting tool right here this is the setting tool that comes with it. Comes with the kit for the Triton. You thread the uh, insert on there. You put it on the little wrench. Set it down in the hole, and it's got a little collet on it. Expand so that you can then release it and get this tool out easily without backing the uh, insert out. But this, if you can see, it's got a little bit of a shoulder up here, and that fits into the cut hole, the the top half that's not threaded on the factory style inserts. If you use the fully threaded inserts, which I am. You have to get another little adapter, which is this time cert part number, uh, let's see, is there, oh, here we go, part number 5148, no, nah, yeah, 5148484A, it's a ring for the setting tool for the M14 by 125. What this does is keeps the insert down far enough that the little shoulder on the setting tool doesn't get into the threads on the fully threaded insert. So I have to use this with the fully threaded inserts. So you'll have to keep that in mind. If you buy the 5553 kit and want to use a fully threaded insert, you'll also need to pick up this insert tool.